Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. Welcome to the closed season. The uh, rivers are closed now. We're about two weeks into the closed season. And I've been out once so far, but we'll get onto that shortly. Uh, but I've come out today to uh, a pool that's on a new ticket that I've got, as you can see there. It's uh, a few acres by the looks of it. It's an island in the middle. As you can probably also see from the waves, it's absolutely hacking the wind. It's, uh, it's, it's blowing absolute hooli. Now, I've never been to this pool before, so I've just come really more for a bit of a recce than anything. According to, the, according to the club book, it's got roach, perch, tench, bream, and some carp in it as well. There's a couple of guys carp fishing up there. But I've sort of come on the windward end, but sort of got managed to get out of the wind just about, um, because I wanted to do a bit of waggler fishing today. That was my plan. Just a bit of a, sort of, as I say, a bit of a recce, a bit of a tester session. We're just going to waggler fish not too far out. So that's the plan. I've got lots of things I want to do in the closed season. Lots of varied things. I, um, I won't spoil the surprise. But if you watch the channel, I do tend to flit about and go wherever the feeling takes me on that day or the weather conditions take me. Um, but today, yeah, I've come for a bit of a recce, as I say, to this pool. Right, enough waffle. I'm going to get the gear out and uh, we'll go through it and then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So the club book tells me it's between four and eight foot in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of a plummet, see what we've got. I just tried to push my bank stick in the edge here and it seems pretty deep, so <laughs> we'll see. I don't know whether it's an even depth or exactly what, but we'll find out in a minute. Stick a plummet on there, take one of these shots off so we can see what's going on. Now what I've got here is my Cadence CR10 14 foot match number two rod, 506 Mark II close face reel and a Drake waggler there. Fairly decent sized one, bodied waggler as well, just because of the wind really. Right, okay, and that's ridiculously shallow. So let's see where it deepens off a bit. Float set at about two foot, and uh, we're not actually going under there. I did actually see a fish in this corner. Small fish jumped out. There's clearly some fish down here. Oh, it keeps raining. Blimey, it's very, very shallow along here. Right, let's, uh, let's have a cast out, see where it deepens off, if it deepens off. Because like I say, it's very shallow in here. Doesn't necessarily mean we won't catch, but right, that's gone under. Right, we're about three and a half foot out there. I've seen another fish jump out. So I think we will, we'll stick it out here. We can give it perhaps an hour or two. If we're not doing any good, we can always have a move. Not got too much stuff with me today. Right. Bait wise, I've just kept it very simple. I've got a pint of maggots and I've got uh, some bread. So the bread is ground bait and I've got some Census 3000 gross gardons ground bait there as well. And that's as complicated as it gets. We'll give it, as I say, we'll give it perhaps an hour or two here. I haven't got too long today on the school run. So um, we've only got till about two o'clock. We've got about four hours. That's long enough to have a little bit of a recce. That's it. Not sure how far out we'll be able to get these maggots. Yeah, we can get them out to there. Let's get a bit of scram bait in as well. i say it's not particularly deep here. I'm not sure that's going to be a problem. This wind is uh, it's fairly warm to be honest. Certainly not a cold day. The sun's getting on this end as well, so I'm, I'm thinking perhaps we, we might be better off down here, even if it is really shallow. Oi, oi. Oh, I think we had a bite then. 
float lifted and then went under. Well, wow. a bite. <laughs> And I haven't really touched on tackle in any detail, but just a very, very simple waggler rig. Strung out, shot in. I'll put all the details of all the stuff I'm using down below anyway in the, uh, in the description. You can have a look exactly what I'm using. Got a fairly decent sized waggler on just to, uh, to fight the undertow and the waves to be honest it'd be nice to be fishing a bit more sensitively but uh, it's not the weather for that well, I was just having a chat to the bailiffs and he said I'll recognise you you're off YouTube I said yeah yeah and he said uh, give us a mention tell everyone it's BAA water so it's the BAA water I'm on I don't tend to name venues just because, you know, with the respect to the anglers who fish places already, but uh, he said, give us a mention, give us a mention on there. So this is this is Coppice Lake on the BAA ticket. I was thinking of moving. They said this is more summery down this end, um, and it's a bit deeper down the other end. And I did mention I was thinking about moving, and he said, yeah, it might be worth it. They'll come up here and spawn, um, but it's probably a bit early. But while I was chatting to the baby, <laughs> um I've obviously missed a bite because I've just reeled in. I mean, maggots absolutely sucked to death. <laughs> it's just a skin left. So clearly there are some fish down here. So I, w I was just thinking of moving. So I'll give it a bit longer, I think. There you go. See, something's just jumped out there again. I clearly got some fish in here. Perhaps we'll stay. Something's just boshed out over there. Now, I think I mentioned... But uh, there's some carp in here and there's some guys carp fishing up there. Well, actually, eagle-eyed viewers will notice I've got a carp rod next to me. I've not actually put it out yet. I've bought one of my Dower extending carp rods with me. It's got just a, a rig there, two ounce lead on and a braided hook link. But I'm not actually going to cast that in. I've actually made up some solid bags so I'm going to chuck one down the edge I think if we decide to stay here we'll chuck one down the edge some snags down to the side down here as you can probably see if I get out of the way it's quite nice and snaggy down there I bought it just on the off chance really knowing that there were carp in here bit of sort of sleeper rod I've got no alarm or anything it'll just be a case of uh, when the bait runner screams Oh, now we've got a fish on. We'll give it a bit longer before we uh, do head off. As I say, I was thinking of heading off just before the bear lift turned up. And there we go. <laughs> got one of the culprits, I think. <laughs> Microscopic perch. <laughs> I haven't said that, perch don't really suck maggots, do they? So, <laughs> I don't think he's the one who's been sucking these maggots to death. That's a pro proper bite as well, for once. <laughs> it does make sense that the fish would want to be down this end. As I say, it's the wind's blowing down here, the sun's out, it's relatively warm in the sun. Ooh, and that was definitely a point. Float sailed away. Oh, have I missed that? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm fishing fairly fine, I've got a size size 18 on here single maggot that was a lovely bite just sailed away <laughs> I 
difficult to know what to do. <laughs> Getting bites. <laughs> Why would I want to move? But it's it's tricky fishing. Need to hook a few of these fish, really. <laughs> Find out what we're getting bites off. Because if it's microscopic perch, like that first one we had, <laughs> then I'll probably have a move. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> that sailed away as well. And it's another microscopic perch. I think it might be time for a move. <laughs> a lovely sail away bite, but absolutely microscopic pitch. <laughs> I went and took that one. Blimey. It's definitely pulled around this wind. God, blimey. Hello. Right, this is not a tiny perch. I don't know what it is. It's not massive, but it's not tiny. <laughs> Put a bend in the rod. Oh, it's a biggest troy peak. Uh, I guess who hasn't set his landing net up. <laughs> Fortunately, I can do it one-handed with this one. Oh, he's a bit better. No monster. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh what a pickle. There we go. <clears throat> well, some perch about. And always remember to set your landing net up. <laughs> No, in all honesty, I don't worry too much with this one because it's one hand job. Well, he's a bit of a nicer fella. <laughs> Certainly bigger than those microscopic ones we've been having. <laughs> Wonderful. It's all perched so far. It'd be nice to try something else. <laughs> there he goes. Back you go in the rain. <laughs> well, they did forecast showers, so can't complain. Well, I guess we stick it out of it, don't we? Keep thinking of moving. But like I say, the, the swim's picking up. <laughs> it's getting, it's getting better and better. Getting quicker and quicker bites. Oh, bloody. Looks like perhaps it's, a, it's going to be a perch session. Perhaps I should have bought some worms. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> oh. It swung round and it's coming from sort of that direction now where you are it was coming down the lake so perhaps the fishing will get a little bit easier here that's a funny little jagging fight well I say fight it's not exactly fighting ooh look at that Lovely roach. Wonderful. That's fantastic. God, I wanted that. <laughs> now that's more 
like what's been stuck in the maggots. Still struggling to see his bites a bit. I'm very shallow. I mean, I'm. It's barely three foot deep, and I think I'm on. I'm on the bottom as well. Just shallow, a tiny bit. It's uh, quite a weird one. That they're here in the in the sun. As I say, perhaps it is the uh, spawning. Perhaps they're starting to. To move down here to spawn. Again, this, I'm a little bit loath to move. I don't really want to move off fish. I'm getting bites, catching fish. I mean, not had anything huge, but certainly enjoying it. There we go. This feels a better fish again. God, I'm getting some fish now. <laughs> This is great. I mean, nothing monstrous, but. Oh, we've got a nice skimmer, but it looks fit. Well, we swing him in, just about. Oh, what a cracking mixed bag. This is turning out to be. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I think that's a bite. Yep. We got here another one of these pesky little perch. No, nope. yes, <laughs> very fat little perch. <laughs> Blimey, what a bloater! <laughs> I have to say, this, this would be lovely fishing if it wasn't for this wind. I could scale down the float, fish nice and sensitively, It'd be fantastic. I'm definitely going to come back. Very enjoyable. God. The wind's now come round and it's coming towards me. <laughs> I'll be blowing from all directions at the same time in a minute. Now, as I touched on earlier, I have actually been out once since the close season started. I actually went out against my better judgment but I went out to the canal after Xander I say against my better judgment because my mate Mick who does a does a blog I'll stick a link up there so you can go and have a look should you wish he'd been out a few times and, and had one bite in about 11 or 12 hours of fishing so I thought I'm probably wasting my time but I'll go out anyway have a go Went to a different stretch than the few he'd been to. And flanked. <laughs> I roved and roved and roved. Um, a few swims that are usually pretty good. A few spots I haven't fished for a few years. Fished all, all over. Had a good old rove about easily covering my 10,000 steps. But absolutely nothing, not a sniff. But it was nice I took the dog with me because uh, I haven't really been taking her out fishing yet because she's still a bit uh, overexcitable, shall we say. So I took her with me and it was uh, that was nice. She had a good wander about. Get her into the swing of things. But it's pretty much a bite of chuck now in this swim. I'm having to wait a few minutes for a bite. Perhaps two or three minutes. Well, I am getting a bite every cast. Which is why I'm a little bit loath to move, to be honest. There we go, look. What's this time? Another nice roach. See, what, what, would, you, <laughs> what would you move when you're catching those? Just about a lifter. <laughs> I mean, fantastic fishing. Not easy fishing. But it is fantastic. Bailiff was telling me there's some, some really good bream in here. It might be worth coming and doing some bream fishing. Perhaps one evening, perhaps bring some, bring a pair of ledger rods and do a bit of bream fishing. Also some tench, but I think it's probably a bit cold for tench yet. Should we put the, uh, let's put the thermometer in the water. 
see what temperature we've got. If I can get it out. Well, we are getting some bites now. Wonderful. <laughs> to be honest, exactly what I fancied, a bit of roach fishing. And that's what we've got. But I didn't think we'd be doing it in, yeah, probably at very most three foot of water. <laughs> well, it looks like the water's about 11 and a half degrees, which is uh, warmer than I thought it would be. But again, we're down the shallow end and the sun's out. Definitely need to bring the little in here. She'll love it. She'll get a few bites. That'll be the main thing. We'll perhaps bring the... Uh, a slightly better fish. We'll perhaps bring the um, the pole as well. She can use the top sections of the pole. What's this skimmer? Looks like it. Better, slightly better skimmer. Can't swing that one in. There we go. Wonderful. Well, I have to commend BAA on a very healthy fishery. Some lovely fish, lovely condition. Back you go. I think, I mean, I don't know. I'm, as I say, I've only ever been here this time. I've never been here before. But it does seem the sort of place to me. I might be wrong, as I say, but, you know, when somewhere's got carp in it, often, 90% of the fishermen, the carp fishermen, the other fish don't get bothered with. I'm not sure that's necessarily the case here, but they do seem in very, very good condition, these fish. Slowly getting bigger. Big roach or big brim be nice. I think, although nothing's impossible, 11.4 might be a bit cold for a tench, but I don't know, these days, <laughs> catchable all year, aren't they? Back in the day, when I used to go tench fishing, and it started to get colder, you stopped tench fishing and you started pike fishing. When I used to frequent the gravel pits down at the uh, Cotswold Water Park, back in the day, back in the 80s, bite. So hard to read some of these bites. Fishing at a reasonable distance with a quite a chop on. I can't dot the float down because if I do it'll spend half the time under the water. So I'm having to leave a good 10 or 15 mil out and it's like oh is it gone? Is it? Is it? And I'm sure there's a, I'm getting a lot of bites I'm just not seeing, to be honest. <laughs> no, can you believe it? Look at that. I dropped that in down there Look, when it's chucking it down with the rain. I was just putting everything away. And I've caught, <laughs> I've caught a lovely big gonk. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I say just down just down here. I reeled in when it was absolutely hammering down just to make sure I'd got everything away that I needed to put away. <laughs> well, I think perhaps I should have put my waterproof trousers on. Well, that big black cloud's gone over now, fortunately. I'm taking the wind with it. Well, perhaps I'm going to fish down here. There's gudgeon down there. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. That front came over, that rain came over, and it's killed the swim. All right. There we go. 
<laughs> Not for long. A skimmer, I think. Oh, no, it's not. God, that's a cracking roach. Look at that. <laughs> Lovely handful of silver. Wonderful. Well, that's the first bite for sort of 10 minutes, which is the longest I've gone since we started, really. Blimey, grab straight away. This feels a bit better. Is it a perch? <laughs> feels a bit perchy. Nope, sort of flash of silver. Cool, our skimmers are in now. Grab that on the way down. <laughs> Come on, let this be a nice big roach. What is it? It's a perch bug, isn't it? I thought, nice roach then. Here we are. <laughs> Lovely fish. Female, I think. Seem to be full of spawn. I think they spawn fairly early perch, I don't think they'll be far off. This time of year, in these conditions, it's just warmed up enough, I think. this? Is it Mr. Gudgeon? Way, we've got another gonk. <laughs> Some decent sized Gudgeon in here. <laughs> come here, come on, come on, come on, come on, calm down. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, float was going sideways, huh? <laughs> Oh, we're back on the roach. Fab. Wonderful. <laughs> I have to say, credit to the fishery. All this fish in absolutely immaculate condition. There we go. <laughs> Not a big fish, but I'm going to call it the last one. It's gone very slow. We're still catching, as you can see. Another lovely roach. As I say, we're going to finish on that roach, I think. That's wonderful. Really, really enjoyed that, as I'm sure it's coming across on here. It's been, uh, it's been great. It's lovely to come, come somewhere different, have a few bites. So, uh, yeah, somewhere I'll definitely be back. We've had all sorts of weather today. <laughs> it's been lovely, warm, hot, and sunny, blowing a gale. Uh, and then it's chucked it down with rain. It's, uh, it's been all over the place, really, but yeah, very enjoyable. Sort of four hours, just, to, just about four hours down here. And as I say, to come to a place that you've not fished before and have plenty of bites, it's really, really enjoyable. Now, I will perhaps next time we come perhaps we'll go up the deeper end but uh, we'll have to see just play it by here with the conditions and i'm going to be out again probably early next week now might try and get out one of the mornings at the weekend but probably be more likely early next week now 
and we do have to get get after some Xander again on the canals and do a bit of seals fishing on the canals as well but that's for next time all there's left to do now is to say thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that tight lines enjoy your own angling when you get out there many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and I'll see you all again very soon <laughs>